In this short video lecture, we are going to solve a numerical problem where we have to draw shear force distribution diagram for an unsymmetrical I section. Now, the statement of the problem is we have to draw the shear stress variation diagram for the unsymmetrical I section as shown in figure when it is subjected to a shear force of 60 kN. Now, in this diagram, we have unsymmetrical I section we can easily see that uh, the top flange width is 100 millimeter and uh, bottom flange width is 150 millimeter so uh, based on this diagram since it is a unsymmetrical type of I section so how to solve this type of numerical that we are going to understand now and uh, the web is having thickness now thickness of uh, all the three member is uh, 20 mm that is uh, same thickness but the width of the top flange as well as the bottom flange differ so it is unsymmetrical type of a I section now when we have to solve this type of numerical uh, I section which is unsymmetrical so first of all we have to find out the neutral axis depth because since it is unsymmetrical section so neutral axis uh, depth that means neutral axis will shift towards the uh, major uh, flange that means the flange having a uh, higher width and a uh, higher thickness so let us consider neutral axis lie at a depth y bar uh, which is uh, calculated from the top of the flange and uh, after solving this uh, uh, numerical for calculation of y bar that means the depth of the neutral axis and uh, for simple geometry and we are getting the value of uh, y bar that means the depth of neutral axis from the top of flange is at a distance of triple one that means 111 millimeter now after that we have to calculate the moment of energy of the whole section with respect to the neutral axis and for this again as similar to the previous numerical we have divided into three parts top flange web and the bottom flange so this will be the formula again since it is a rectangular type of section top flange is a rectangle web is a rectangle as well as bottom flange is also a rectangle so formula for calculating the moment of inertia with respect to the centroidal axis of the flange only that is bd cube by 12 so v here for the top flange is 100 millimeter and uh, d depth is 20 millimeters so we have taken 100 into 20 cube by 12 plus a d square so a is the area of the top flange 100 into 20 and this is the distance from the centroid of the top flange from the neutral axis so since a y bar is 111 so subtracting this uh, half of the uh, half of the depth of the lens that is 10 millimeters so 111 minus 10 square and in similar manner we have to calculate the moment of inertia for web portion as well as for the lower flange so this is formula for the web portion having depth of the web 160 mm and the thickness of the web 20 mm and accordingly uh, this third one is the moment of inertia of the lower flange with respect to the neutral axis so by solving this by summing up all the values and after solving we are getting the value of moment of inertia of this whole section with respect to neutral axis and it comes out to be 46.505 into 10 raised to power 6 millimeter raised to power 4 so up to this step we have calculated we have first of all calculated the distance of the neutral axis from the top flange or you can calculate it from the bottom flange also no issue and uh, after that movement of inertia with respect to the neutral axis after that what is the main problem we have to solve that means we have to find out shear stress at different locations of the section and this is the standard formula which we use and we have discussed in the previous numerical also that means q is the shear stress at any level f is the shear force on this section in this numerical if f value will be 60 kN i is the moment of inertia of the section with respect to the neutral axis which we have calculated 
and uh, b is the width of the section at that particular level where we have to calculate the shear stress and a i a y bar that is the movement of the area of the portion above that section about neutral axis of the section so uh, rest of the problem is uh, similar to the previous problem only variation is here neutral axis not lie in the midway since it is an unsymmetrical type of i section now let us uh, uh, calculate all the details so first of all at section 1 that means we are taking one section or one level just at the top of the plane so this is level 1 where we have to calculate so accordingly uh, in the parallel we are going to draw the diagram also so top lens since uh, there is no area beyond the or above the uh, this section 1 1 so shear stress will be calculated as equal to 0 now at section 2 you can see here this is the section that is section 2 is at the bottom of the flange that means at a junction of web and flange so bottom of flange but here we will be taking the value of the width of the section will be equal to 100 millimeter so this much a portion this shaded portion need to be evaluated that means area of only this portion will be taken into consideration so for uh, this we are easily we can find out the shear stress at this level so 60 is the shear force 60 kilo newton and uh, 46 into 10 raised to power 6 is the moment of inertia and the width of the section is 100 now this is movement of the area so first portion 100 into 20 will give the movement uh, area of this section and 111 was the distance of the neutral axis from the top but now we have to calculate the distance between the centroidal of this area and from the neutral axis so it will be 111 minus 10 so ultimately we are getting the value of shear stress at the bottom of the top length that is 2.61 newton per millimeter square and uh, when we are uh, taking a section just below the uh, flange but that does not uh, touching the flange but it lies in the web so then width will be changed to 20 and accordingly we will be getting the shear stress 13.03 so 13.03 just at the level of 2 and the third portion is the when we take the section 3 so section 3 will be here that is at neutral axis so uh, this is the neutral axis <coughs> now at this neutral axis width is uh, width of the web is 20 mm and we have to now take the movement of whole shaded area above the neutral axis with respect to the neutral axis that means first of all we will calculate the area and take the movement about neutral axis then second area that is the web shaded area and the movement of this area with respect to neutral axis so this is the uh, calculation here 46 into 10, 10 raised to power 6 you consider 10 raised to power 6 not 106 and 20 is the width so first of all area of the top lens 100 into 20 and for taking movement that means distance of the centroid of the top lens with respect to neutral axis is equal to 101 then we have to take into consideration the area of this bluish part of the web so its uh, depth is 111 minus 20 so because this is 111 and 20 you subtract then you will get the width of the web above the neutral axis into thickness of web and then this is the distance between the centroid so centroid of the web will be somewhere here so we are going to calculate this value so ultimately we are getting the shear stress at this level that is equal to 18.37 newton per millimeter square and when we have to draw the diagram so first of all from zero shear stress at uh, section one then at section two shear stress value is 2.61 after that uh, in the web portion shear stress value is 13.03 this one this value and after that shear stress at the uh, neutral axis that comes out to be 18.37 and after that we have to calculate already we have calculated 18.37 and after that we have to calculate 
the shear stress at the bottom of the bottom flange and uh, the section where web is meeting the bottom flange lower flange so that is section 4 we have taken into consideration so ultimately we are finding shear stress somewhere here so here since it is the uh, portion it is the section lying in the flange only so thickness that means width of the flange will be taken as 150 here so after putting all the values we are getting the shear stress at this level 2.04 and the section 4 that is lower in just in the web portion if you consider here somewhere so thickness of the web that means width of the web will be 20 so we are going to put here 20 only so this is the formula and ultimately we are getting shear stress at this level is 15.28 so this is the diagram and uh, ultimately 15.28 here and uh, 2.04 at this level and uh, shear stress 0 at the bottom of the level thank you